Go figure that. Now, it's been a while since I've been on the show cooking because I've been out on the field doing some stuff, you know, like, like I often do because I just travel around the world. It's great times. Um, we've got a great new um, idea for our recipes today. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to be making some uh, delicious, uh, what do you call it? Mm, like a dip. We're going to be making a delicious dip for parties. And we've got a special guest, Bertha from Fashion Magazine. It's on the show today. And she's going to be making a beverage of some sort. I'm not sure what it is yet. All I have is that it's a beverage. So, what I'm going to be making is a, a little thing I like to call the Mexican good stuff. I picked this recipe up when I was in Mexico. Actually, I'm lying. I never went to Mexico. That place scares me. Because, you know, it's filled with Mexicans. I'm afraid of them. Anyway, what we want to start off with is a nice mixing bowl. Because you want to mix it all up, the ingredients, you know. And I like to keep my mixing bowls down here in this cupboard. This should do it. This is a nice size mixing bowl, but it might need to be a little bigger. I'll get another, I'll get a little bit bigger of one just, just in case we end up with, you know, too much stuff. This shouldn't be in my cupboard. I need to clean up my house after I have those kind of parties. <laughs> anyway, so, what you want to start off with is two eight ounce packages of cream cheese and I have them right here. Cream cheese in a mixing bowl. So you want to uh, take your cream cheese, two packages of it, you want them softened. I like to set them out overnight, sometimes three days. No, I'm kidding. They would get all rotten and nasty. You wouldn't want that. Oh, they're very soft. I think that we won't, we won't even really need anything important to mix it up. I don't think it's going to break it. Or, or a thing. You just want to throw those away. No, trash can. Hmm. Speaking of trash, you will not believe the weekend I had last week. It was like trashy people. I got molested. That's beside the point. So, you want to open this up. And I remember back in the old days, I used to make this stuff all the time. Well, this is just crazy. It's just open like this and this. So. Woo! <laughs> That's crazy. This is the consistency of cream cheese you want. Ugh. It smells like cream cheese. <laughs> kind of smells like rotten milk. But that is what cream cheese is. Any, any cheese is rotten milk, really. So, what I like to do if I'm not having any cream cheese around the house, I, I just look in my fridge for the milk. <laughs> just set it out for a couple of days. Because you know, in a couple of days, I wouldn't be able to go to the store and get some cream cheese. But I like to not waste my stuff. So once my milk goes bad, I just, you know, you want to get all that out of the package because you don't really want to waste it. Because cream cheese these days is going up in price. Like I always have a towel around, because I get stuff on my hands all the time. Anyway, so you've got your two packages of cream cheese. And just put that in there. Well, that's so much easier to open than the last one. You just want to drop that in. You know what that reminds me of? <laughs> oh, God! It reminds me of my ex-husband. It kind of smells like him, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. I never 
Where did my towel go? Oh. I, it does smell like my ex-husband. So you got your two packages of cream cheese in there. And it's in the mixing bowl, like it should be. <laughs> then, what we want to get is, well, the recipe calls for a half a cup of taco sauce. We don't have taco sauce. So, we're going to go with a half a cup of salsa. That's the closest thing that we usually use. Normally, you know, yeah, that's salsa. Tostitos, all natural salsa. You don't want that unnatural stuff. Mm. <laughs> Orgasmic. Where's the... Oh, yeah. Anyway, you want a half a cup of salsa. I used to do this all the time. Well, not really. I didn't really do this all the time. Basically, I never did this before. <laughs> That's why I'm just mixing stuff together. So you want to get about, you know, salsa in there. I know what you're thinking at home. Sick! <laughs> oh, it probably will be. <laughs> but that's okay. That's part of the plan. Anyway, you put your rest of your salsa in there. And then, you want to go with a fourth a cup of sour cream. Now, again, we don't have any sour cream. So we're going to go with French onion dip. It's a sour cream based product. See? Made with real sour cream, not pretend. We'll open that up. Oh my gosh, it's all gassy. Kind of like I had been the past couple of days. Anyway, throw that in there. This is going to be very white. Again, much like my husband. So, you want to get, like, we're just going to alter the recipe a bit. It calls for a fourth a cup of this. We're just going to put a whole half a cup in to add flavor. I like the way that sounds. Anyway, so we'll just put that in the sink. So I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Well, yeah, we might. I hope this is good. It's okay. I wouldn't call it good. <laughs> it's not bad either, though. I'm going to put that in the fridge. 